now we are going to start physics of class 10th science ncert okay so physics in physics very first con convex and concave le lenses convex lenses are those who are in oval shape okay this, it has real focus converging lenses it can from uh, it, it can form real or virtual images used in rear view mirror because uh, cover a wide range okay then when we talk about concave lens lenses these are enlarged images uh, headlight of uh, or um, headlight of car it is used it has uh, in concave les lenses these it has virtual focus diverging lenses it for uh, for ms only virtual images it forms only um, virtual images used day, uh, day by dentist uh, used in solar uh, furnace also reflexive indexes are there <coughs> reflexive indexes are what it has air 1.0003 ice 1.31 water 1.33 and kerosene 1.44 so lower the reflexive index um, faster is the speed of light in the that medium so Head, uh, headlight of car concave lenses are used rear, rear or side view convex lenses solar and um, furnace concave lenses okay then uh, focal strength of plane mirror is in at uh, infinite plane mirror is uh, images is uh, virtual and erect the unit of power of lens is depth here depth here uh, one depth here is equal to one meter minus one one meter um, minus one ki power power minus one lower the refractive index faster is the speed of light in that medium hence light will travel fastest in water for uh, uh, reading small uh, letter of dictionary one can use a convex lens of focal length of uh, five centimeter focal length of the plane mirror at infinite uh, when we talk about a refractive index so uh, if we talk about uh, light uh, travels uh, in fastest in water and it travels in very less speed in a uh, diamond 2.42 and water is at uh, 1.33 okay so this is all about uh, this is all about refractive index um now turn on uh, concave and conca convex again concave and torches search light vehicle headlights uh, shaving mi mirror used by dentist concave lenses okay in solar furnace also concave lenses is there and myopia disease are there so that this is also related to concave lenses when we talk about convex lenses so these are in positive inside concave is negative inside and convex are positive inside rear view mirror or uh, um, side view for vehicle okay convex lenses are used in rear uh, re uh, re uh, rear view mirror or side vehicle side uh, view of vehicle okay then hypermentropia hypermentropia disease is related then uh, convex lenses are used used to see full length of images of a tall building the optical phenomena twinkling of stars is due to atmospheric refraction A refraction okay plane mirror plane mirror is virtual erect same size of as our object as for behind the mirror as the object in front of it laterally uh, inverted power of convex lenses is positive power of concave lenses are negative okay our eyes lens convex in nature uh, optic nerve is in eye uh, connect eye and brain it uh, sends the electrical signal to brain diameter of human eye is approx 2.3 cm light sensitive cells retina consists rod and cones so rod and cones cones gives color okay cones gives the idea of color rods and cones the difference between rod and rods and cones rods uh, very first i'm going to talk respond to intensity of light enables to see in dim light okay can uh, can't distinguish various colors but when we talk about cones cones are uh, respond to color become active in bright light can distinguish between color color blindness due to absence of corn cells in the retina or optic nerve defects of vision so some defects are there myopia hypermetropia and presbyopia 
माइपी और शॉर्ट साइटनेस दैट इज कांट सी डिस्टेंट ऑब्जेक्ट इमेज फॉर्म्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ रेटिना हाइपर मेट्रोपिया इज लॉन्ग लॉन्ग साइटनेस दैट इज कांट सी नियर बाय ऑब्जेक्ट इमेज फॉर्म्ड बिहाइंड रेटिना प्रेस पायोमीपिया पावर ऑफ अकोमोडेशन अकोमोडेट डिक्रीज बाई बाई विद एजेस ओके so press biopia is related to ages nearby objects are not visible clearly so in uh, myopia convex concave lenses are used in hypermetropia convex lenses are used and when we talk about press biopia it is biofocal lenses are used human eye forms the images of an object at its retina the change in the focal length of human eye lens is caused due to ciliary muscles the persistence of vision of for normal eye is 1 upon 16th of the second uh, then red has a greatest wavelength red color is the least scattered by fog dust or smoke dust of smoke the amount of light in entering the human eye is controlled by pupil pupil also determines the color of the eye of a person okay its iris control the size of pupil so when we say na green eye or blue eye or brown eye it is uh, related to the pupil what is the color of pupil that is uh, become the color of eye then lens of human eye has flexible op in operator um, its uh, focal length can be changed in camera focal length cannot be changed for a lens so tidal effect what is tidal effect is scattering of light in the nature due to small particles presence in the atmosphere is called tidal effect this phenomena is responsible for making the path of light visible cornea uh, provides the refraction of light rays entering the eye birds lacks light sensitive cells so can't see in dim light two eyes are more helpful as one eye gives only a view of 150 degree angle whereas two eye increase the view of you uh, view by making it wide to 180 degree angle dispersion of light means the splitting of white uh, white light into seven colors on passing through a transparent medium like glass prism is called dispersion of light so prism is there so red color is on top when we talk about white light red color is on top and uh, violet color is on uh, middle so webgur is the color names uh, short form of the color names conductor low resistance conductor is low resistance allow charges to flow easily through the uh, through them uh, can be charged then insulator don't allow uh, charges to flow cannot be charged highly resistance electric current uh, unit is ampere anameter electric current unit is equal to ampere ammeter is used to measure current galvanometer used to for measuring every small current uh, then a uh, unit of a specific resistance is ohm okay resistivity is ohm ammeter Re the resistance of germanium decrease with the rise in temperature electric potential is uh, scalar quantity and energy unit is equal to kilowatt per hour kilo hour per hour then tungsten is element uh, elastic T tungsten is elastic lamps why uh, ha sorry sorry tungsten is used in electric lamps why because it is special quality glows on heating then high melting point is there then do not react with other other gases in the air then uh, tungsten doesn't get oxidized and tungsten has a low resistance so um, that because of this tungsten is good for electric electric lamps energy unit is kilowatt per hour conventionally the direction of current is taken as the direction of flow of positive charge si unit of charge is a coulomb coulomb then unit electric potential is equal to volt and unit of power is equal to watt then um, household electric supply consists of three types of wire line wire red ins uh, red insulation insulation cover natural ne neutral wire that is black cover and earth wire that is green uh, green insulation cover 
in the time uh, at the time of short circuit the current into the current in the current heavily high uh, current increasing heavily at the time of short circuit the current in the wire uh, current is increasing heavily fleming's left hand rule so right hand thumbs rule maxwell ne diya and then fleming's gave left hand rule because of this it what is it motion uh, if we make uh, what thumb and uh, uh, two fingers rule so thumb is denoted to motion then the straight finger is denoted to field and the next uh, the third finger denoted to current difference in ac and dc uh, ac is uh, alternatively current and dc is direct current. AC is reverse its direction periodically and uh, DC always uh, flows in one direction. Source is generator, AC AC example is generator and DC example is battery. Okay, then AC is preferred over DC because it can be transmitted over long distance um, without much le- much loss of energy. So AC is preferable uh, over DC. Magnetic field measured in Tesla or Weber per meter square per meter square m square. Okay. Important nuclear plants are there, Tarapur in Maharashtra, Narora in UP, Kalapakkam in Tamil Nadu, Kota in Rajasthan, Kakarpara in Kakarpara in Gujarat and Kaiga in Karnataka. Minimum speed of wind required for wind mill is equal to 15 km per hour. Biogases. Biogases are clean, efficient, efficient fuel used for lightning because lightning and made, made from bio waste of plastics and uh, sorry biomaster of uh, plants and animals does not produce poisonous gases it's a mixture of 75 percent of uh, methane co2 hydrogen and hydrogen hydro- hydrogen sulfate be careful in biogases oxygen is not used okay keep, keep it in your mind 16 september is known as ozone day ganga action plus is the plan started in 1985 five hours are there fuse reduce re- reuse repurpose and recycle then a uh, good example of local people working traditionally for the conservation of forest is, is equal to Bishnoi uh, of Rajasthan. The Chipko movement started in village called Ra- Revi, Ravi, uh, Rani, Reni, Reni in Garhwal in the Himalayas during early 1970s. The women in the village hugged the trees. They are uh, preventing the workers of a local contractor from cutting down the trees. Chipko is uh, started by Sundarlal Bahuguda. Then forests are biodiversity, biodiversity hotspot, industrial purpose, wood, paper, fruit and herbs are natural has, heritage, prevents soil erosion and flood, maintain water cycle, bring rainfall and maintain ecosystem also. The traditional systems of water harvesting management, uh, Bandhas and Tals in Maharashtra, Buddhis in um, MP and UP, Kulhas in uh, Himachal, Kadis and Taks and Nadis in Rajasthan, Ahars and Payans in Payans in uh, Bihar, Coliform, a group of bacteria, and Ganga Axel plan is started in 1985. So- Now I'm going to start class 10th NCERT science lecture. Okay, so very first carbon dioxide is passed through lime water or formula is CaO, it turns milky. CO2 plus H2 are colorless gases. Rust formula is Fe2O3 dot XH2O. Okay, noble metals are which do not rust. Sorry, which do not react at any temperature. Example, gold. Okay, then chemical used in black and white photography named as silver bromide. So, in black and white photography, we used silver bromide. Okay, then photosynthesis are uh, photosynthesis considered as endothermic reaction. Heat is taken into breathe the bonds and to form new compounds 
okay to break the bound and so, sorry break the bonds and form a new compound and exothermic reactions in this heat is given out example burning of noble gases uh, vegetable uh, matter change in compost okay then uh, acid acids are sour turn blue litmus to red okay and releases releases h plus ions uh, ph less than uh, 7 okay ph less than 7 then uh, base bit, these are t- in taste bitter turns red litmus to blue and then release uh, oh ions and ph is more than 7 indicators changes colors smell in uh, acids and bases uh, all olfactory mm, indicators like vanilla okay then uh, naturalization acid naturalizes uh, bases to form salt and water nacl sodium chloride uh, used for making naoh bleaching powder uh, caco caco cl2 bleaching powder cao cl2 baking soda nah co3 washing soda na2 co3 okay remove uh, Mm, border uh, boldness and water okay then acid solution in water conducts electricity so acid solution in water conducts electricity ph value saliva before meal 7.4 it is base and saliva after meal 5.8 it is acid okay in nature then lemon juice 2.5 highly acidic then tap water 7 it is neutral tomato juice 4.1 okay then bases soluble into water are called alkyls like sodium lithium and uh, potassium okay uh, which turns red to blue litmus okay then uh, vinegar vinegar has acetic acid uh, guava and tomato has uh, oxalic acid and baking powder has tartaric acid bronze is an alloy of copper and sn zinc i think sn means zinc zinc yes then uh, the process of uh, coating of zinc over uh, fe or you can say iron is known as galvanization so co- coating of uh, zinc over fe is known as galvanization sodium is a metal which can be cut with knife a non metal liquid is in states as bromine then a metal which is liquid in state is mercury then uh, two allotropes of uh, carbon named as diamond and graphite uh, heavy metals lead and chromium okay then while making an alloy of metals if one of the metal is mercury then uh, mercury ore is mercury is uh, extracted from cinnabar okay then Uh, mercury is extracted from cinnabar so what i have told while making an alloy of metals if one metal is mercury then it is called amalgam matlab it means ag ag is the sign of mercury plus hd is equal to silver bromide then solde or solder is an alloy of lead lead and tin then sulfur is an a non metal be careful sulfur is a non metal and magnesium is a metal so um, mercury um, uh, sorry mercury and sodium these are also metal magnesium is good conductor of uh, good conductor and sulfur is bad conductor of electricity cinnabar is hds sorry you there i have told you mercury ag that is not ag means silver and mercury means uh, hd hd means mercury so cinnabar is hds mercury is obtained by ro- uh, roasting cinnabar so when uh, cinnabar is roast then mercury came out in a lab zinc magnesium and aluminum looks similar so in the lab which are the metal, metals looks similar zinc magnesium and aluminum these three are look to similar then carbon carbon atomic number is 6 in, uh, atomic number means number of protons then uh, carbon f- uh, f- uh, carbon forms covalent compounds compounds which do not conduct electricity carbon has three allotropes named diamond graphite and um, fluorescent fluorine fluorines uh, methane ch4 ethane c2h6 propane c3h8 butane c4h10 
देन बेंजीन सी सिक्स एच सिक्स बेंजीन सी सिक्स एच सिक्स एथेन सी टू एच सिक्स ओके द बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सोप इज ग्लाइकोरॉल ग्लाई ग्लाइसरॉल द बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ सोप इज ग्लाइसरॉल विनेगर इज सोल्यूशन ऑफ फाइव परसेंट टू एट परसेंट एसिटिक एसिड इन वॉटर देन सोप्स आर फॉर्म्ड बाई सेपोनाई सेपनीफिकेशन ऑफ सिंपल ईस्टर सोप्स आर फॉर्म्ड फॉर्म्ड बाई सोपनीफिकेशन ऑफ सिंपल ईस्टर्स ईस्टर्स आर अ स्मेलिंग एजेंट ओके स्मेलिंग एजेंट बायोलॉजी पार्ट ऑफ टेंथ ऑटोट्रॉफिक न्यूट्रिशन ऑप्टेंड फ्रॉम एन इनऑर्गेनिक सोर्सेज एंड प्रिपेयर ओन फूड हेट्रोट्रॉफिक मीन्स फ्रॉम ऑर्गेनिक सोर्सेज ओके सो आम आम हैविंग सम मोर पार्ट ऑफ दिस एसिड एंड बेस इट मीन्स केमिस्ट्री पार्ट लेट्स जस्ट लिसन इट एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड कैटलिस्ट वॉट आर द कैटलिस्ट कैटलिस्ट आर इन द कॉन्टैक्ट प्रोसेस फॉर मैनुफैक्चरिंग ऑफ सल्फरिक एसिड ओके सो कैटलाइस कैटलिक्स आर वेंडियम पेट्रोसाइड पेट्रोक्साइड वेंडियम पेंटा ऑक्साइड इज यूज एज कैटलिस्ट इन द सिंथेसिस ऑफ पेट्रोल निकिल आयरन कोबाल्ट एंड एल्यूमिनियम यूज एज कैटलिस्ट सो इन द सेंथेसिस ऑफ पेट्रोल निकिल आयरन कोबाल्ट एंड एल्यूमिनियम इज यूज एज कैटलिस्ट इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ वनस्पति घी निकिल इज यूज एज कैटलिस्ट ओके सो वनस्पति घी निकिल इज यूज फॉर एज एज अ कैटलिस्ट रिएक्शन of type endothermic and exothermic i have already told but again i am going to repeat it endothermic reactions are heat is given okay photosynthesis re- reaction ice to water ozone or you can say uv rays are the examples and exothermic reaction heat is released so a respiration and setting of cement and pop setting these are exothermic reactions then photochemical reactions in the presence of sunlight photosynthesis photosynthesis absorbs absorption of for uv rays and evaporation then reversible reactions these are can be reversed at any time like 3h2 plus n2 uh, make 2nh3 uh, hyper process okay then 2h2o um, uh, when current passed then h2 plus o2 then it is you can say for charging uh, charging of battery in irreversible reactions these those cannot be reversed like burning of carbon sodium or um, sodium and CSN, uh, carbon and uh, sodium and uh, N means also sodium. S means sulfur, carbon, sulfur and sodium. Then uh, oxidation and rusting of iron. You can't re- reverse. You can't re- reverse these type of uh, reactions. Then addition reactions. Reaction one plus reaction two is equal to product. Like C plus O two is equal to CO two. Okay, H two plus O two is equal to O H two. और एस प्लस ओ टू इज इक्वल टू एस ओ टू और एन प्लस ओ टू इज इक्वल टू एन ओ टू सो दीज आर द रिएक्शन प्रोडक्ट काम्स डिकम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन रिएक्शन प्लस एंड इक्वल टू यू गट टू प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक सी ए सी ओ थ्री वेन हीट इट काम सी ए ओ प्लस सी ओ टू एंड टू एन एच थ्री सी एच टू एन प्लस एन टू डिसप्लेसमेंट रिएक्शंस एन ए प्लस एच सी एल एन ए सी एल प्लस हाफ एच टू एंड जिंक प्लस एच टू एस ओ फोर इज इक्वल टू जेड एन एस ओ फोर प्लस एच टू एरेडॉक्स एन एक्शन एरेडॉक्स रिएक्शन आर देयर ऑक्सीडेशन एंड रिडक्शन बोथ आर देयर ओके सो एडिशन ऑफ ऑक्सीडेशन एडिशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन रिमूवल ऑफ हाइड्रोजन ओके इट्स क्लोज टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स क्लोज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लाइक एन ए प्लस सी एल सी एल हैज माइनस चार्ज एन 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 ए हैज प्लस चार्ज एंड देन ऑक्सीडेशन काम्स and then um, uh, it 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 done and reduction reduction in reduction you can say add uh, hydrogen h2 removal of removal of oxygen so there addition of oxygen here removal of oxygen and gain of uh, electrons there lose of electrons oxidation and reduction means gain of electrons so examples rusting of iron and electro uh, electrochemical cell then uh, here acids we are going to talk about acids disassociates this uh, dis- disassociate in uh, water to give hydrogen hydrogen plus ion uh, blue litmus to red okay savate addresses erroneous i can't pronounce acid plus water uh, okay then can uh, donate uh, h plus ions okay then Uh, HCl plus H2O equal to H3O, which is hydronium ion. 
n plus Cl minus okay chlorine K, uh, can accept an electro electron pair G and Lewis then form salt and water on reaction with bases HCl acid plus NO, NaOH base and then equal to H2O plus NaCl acids are you can say organic or neutral acids natural acid sorry and inorganic acids so organic acids formic acid acetic acid citric acid ascorbic acid vitamin c malic acid tartaric acid sulfenic acid glutamic acid oxalic acid lactic acid and sialic acid these are the examples of organic or natural acids so here i'm going to give you some one one to two examples so formic acid is string of red ant and scorpion honeybee used to preserve fruit so a simple carboxylic acid okay that is formic acid then acetic acid in vinegar citric acid in citrus fruit like a, a lemon or orange and amla and many of them then ascorbic acid is citrus fruit you can say ascorbic acid there in amla okay i have told that uh, citric acid is there and amla but i was wrong uh, here ascorbic acid is there and vitamin c is also there ascorbic acid you can call it as vitamin c also that is amla and gooseberry mm -hmm. then malic acid in apple so an apple you got malic acid naturally tartaric acid in tamarinds and um, grapes and baking powder then sulfonic acid in onion then um, glutamic gl glutamic acid that is in wheat then oxalic acid in tomato and spinach then lactic acid in curd and sialic acid in tears so which which uh, which which uh, acid comes out when you cry sialic acid now i'm going to tell you something about inorganic acid as you know that hcl nitric acid aqua regia and sulfuric acids and many or many more are there so here i'm going to talk about hcl first production of chlorides rubber industries fertilizers textile industries manufacture of dye and refining of metals digestion and gastric acids so these are called as hcl ph is equal to zero then nitric acid nitric acid is hno3 plastic it is used in plastic dye fertilizers making explosives such as tnt and removal of uh, what what means um, you can say masa in hindi you can say then aqua regia aqua regia you can say in hindi amal raj so it is uh, in some ratio properly ratio is there hcl in 3 and hno3 in 1 so 3 is to 1 ratio hcl in 3 3 part and hno3 in 1 part so 3 is to 1 ratio used in inert metal like gold and platinum dissolved and purification of gold it is used okay then a sulfuric acid is king of chemicals or oil of vitrol vitrol so production of fertilizer it is used sulfuric acid production of fertilizer detergents dyes explosives drugs petroleum refining processing of metals then cleaning of steel and iron then rayon is made of sulfuric acid which is artificial silk then used in inverter and bikes battery uh, lead acid storage battery uh, then h2o h2so4 33 percent is used now we are going to talk, talk about pH value. So pH value is power of hydrogen given by Soren uh, Peder and Sorenza. So if pH value is 7, it is neutral one. And if it is, is in uh, pH 0 to pH 7, that is acidic. And if it is pH 7 above or pH 7 to pH 14, that is basic. Okay. Then pH is equal to minus log uh, 10 um, bracket may H plus ion. If H plus is increased in concentration, then pH value is decreased. And if a, a hydrogen is H plus ion is decreased, then pH value is increased. Blood has 7.4 uh, pH value. It means it is basic. Okay, it's not acidic. Now, uh, base base is bitter and uh, red and uh, it, it turns red to blue litmus. It is soapy, dissociate in water to give hydrogen OH minus ions and uh, then uh, carbon uh, can, do can donate OH minus ions and then uh, can donate an electron pair also. Okay, pH greater than 7, turn uh, 
salt plus uh, water on reaction with acids neutralization then bases bases are sodium hydroxide NaOH caustic soda sodium hydroxide is caustic soda which is used to make hand soap detergent baking baking soda washing soda salt and petrol refining and potassium hydroxide which is also a base basic it is KOH this KOH or you can say caustic potash which is used in soft soaps uh, gunpowder and for Magnesium magnesium hydroxide MgOH2 which is milk of magnesia this is very important magnesium hydroxide milk of magnesia MgOH2 that is entosid uh, it is called as eno and then calcium hydroxide CaOH2 it is slag slagged lime um, fertilizes for saline soil and into it is used calcium hydroxide is used in toothpastes and paints and it is also called lime water now here i'm going to start 10th uh, biology autotrophic uh, nutrition obtained uh, from inorganic sources and prepare own food heterotrophic is from organic sources like saprophytic parasitic and halogenic so saprophytic uh, you can say um, um, dependent on uh, um, um, dependent on uh, bad uh, land or bad uh, decaying plants okay and then uh, parasitic is are uh, food from the body of another living organism you can divide into two parts endoparasitic and exoparasitic endoparasitic is inside the body taps worm and round worm and exoparasitic on the body like leaves or leech then um, amarbel you can say in hindi yes characteristic plant that is amar pail then holozonic uh, holozonic uh, uh, it is take uh, into whole food and uh, then digest like human and animals uh, contains in digestion digestion absorption assimilation and digestion uh, stomach walls secrete gastric acid which has hcl mucus mucus and pepsin uh, hcl uh, kills bacteria and make medium acidic and then pepsin role is digest protein the liver is the largest gland secretes bile juices small intestine carbohydrates glucose protein amino acid fats fatty acid and glycerol long uh, large digestive uh, large uh, intestine helps in absorption of water large intestine helps in absorption of water digestive enzymes salinity amylase converts starch into sugar amylase converts starch into sugar pepsin pro pepsin uh, is uh, which is proteins to peptones then trypsin uh, peps peptones to peptides then lipase fats to fatty acid plus glycerol so okay then uh, enzymes in intestinal juices carbohydrates to glucose peptide to amino acid and fats to fatty acid plus glycerol in plants xylem and phloem are there so xylem some tissues are there na? so these are the tissues i have uh, we have done in ninth class in crt so xylem is xylem and phloem are complex tissues so these are uh, xylem is for transport water and dissolve minerals upward from the roots to different part of the plant and phloem to distribute food by leaves to different part of the plant then plasma plasma have 92 percent of water it uh, transports food carbon dioxide and nitrogenous waste rbc's uh, you can say hemoglobin helps to transport oxygen wbc wbc is for in just and destroying bacteria and prevent the spread of infection and then uh, uh, platelets are for help help uh, to, in clotting of blood heart when we talk about heart heart is have to four chamber we, uh, humans are having four chamber heart these have two two arteries and two veins so two arteries uh, not have walls carry blood rich in oxygen from heart to tissue and then veins veins are have walls and carry deoxygenated blood from tissues to the heart okay instrument of recording ecg is called electrocardiograph proteins after digestion are converted
converted into amino acid carbohydrates in plants are stored in form of starch okay carbohydrate in humans are in are stored in the form of glycogen bile juice is secreted by liver pancreas secretes trypsin and pepsin okay lipase acts on fats lipase acts on fats amphibians have three chambered heart kidney kidney's role is purifying of the blood in our muscles it less supply of oxygen respiration than lactic acid form if in muscles if less supply of oxygen done than respiration then um, lactic acid form atp adenosine triphosphate aerobic aerobic respiration and anaerobic uh, respiration aerobic respiration takes place presence of oxygen okay aerobic it means oxygen is there and products co2 plus h2o plus energy and increased energy it re releases then anaerobic or respiration absence of oxygen ethanol plus co2 plus energy and energy is decreased okay come in, uh, less energy is uh, 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 getting acid rain acid rain when ph value of rain fall below 5 then uh, due to pressure uh, presence of so2 plus no2 then a mixture of h2so4 and hno3 you can called as acid rain central nervous system consists of brain as spinal cords so here three types of brain are there fore brain mid brain and hind brain so then uh, just learn about fore brain fore fore brain is largest part of the brain thinking memory is is the task of this then has visual auditory reception touch and uh, smell temperature muscular activities these are done by fore brain then we talk about mid brain mid brain is is okay um, can uh, connects fore brain and hind brain so what is the task of mid brain mid brain connects of hind brain and fore brain and then control relax uh, relax uh, um, involving eyes and ears so mid brain somehow involve involves in relaxation of eyes and ears then hind brain hind brain has uh, cerebral cerebral cerebellum pons and medulla oblongata so hind brain is really very important it it has cerebellum 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 then pons and medulla oblongata so cerebellum cerebellum is used for it is used to it maintains body posture equilibrium it means balance then um, control and con, uh, uh, coordinates with um, in circular movements of and you can say balance of the body then pons pons uh, regulates the respiration system okay and then medulla oblongata it controls blood pressure sal salivation vomiting heart beat and breathing uh, then is spinal cord spinal cord it it is supply information to think about reflex action uh, controlled by spinal cord so which which part of brain control uh, your uh, reflex action that is a spinal cord then gland secretion and hormone function so very first i'm going to tell you one gland then its secretion where it secretes which type of things it secretes which type of hormones and then after what what type of hormones function so very first pituitary gland it is secre it secretes a growth hormone and it regulates the growth grow, function of growth then hypothalamus hypothalamus releasing hormone uh, that is um, regulates the secretion of uh, hormones from pituitary glands okay then thyroid it is thyroxin secretion is there and it controls metabolic uh, metabolic rates of carbohydrates uh, fats and uh, proteins then adrenal or uh, it secretes adrenal type of uh, uh, hormone and it uh, it is increase heart beat rate and blood pressure and then uh, pancreas it it in, it secretes insulin and glycogen uh, insulin decrease blood the glucose and gluco uh, glycogen increase blood sugar level then ovary oh, two type of uh, hormones are there progesterone and progesterone uh, progesterone controlled uh, development of female sex organs and ovulation etc so these two hormones progesterone and estrogen 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 and progesterone uh, progesterone these control development of female sex organs 
as an evolution function then thymus thymus uh, secretes thymosin and it produces immunity then the smell of agarbatti is detected by olfi olfactory olfactory receptions located in four brain in four brain so four brain uh, deduct the smell of agarbatti or any fluorescence type of chemical then plant hormones or um, it is it is auxin growth of stem gibberellins then cytokinins abscisic acid ethylene helps in ripening of food adrenaline adrenaline uh, hormone is secreted in large amount when a person is frightened or mentally disturbed uh, increase of blood pressure too okay so adrenaline adrenaline uh, sorry adrenaline 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 uh, that hormone also secretes when we are in stress and fear hormone you can say then the gap between two neurons is called synapses then uh, synapse then uh, reception uh, rece receptors receptors are specialized tip of nerve cells input and output or nerves meet to meet at a spinal cord Mm, then uh, responsible for uh, precision of a uh, voluntary action this is cerebellum so voluntary action done by cerebellum then stomach a stomach wall secrete gastric juices which contains kills, which contains hcl and its functions hcl function is to kill bacteria makes medium acidic mucus and pepsin is also there then liver bile juice and pancreas juice digestive enzymes you can say saliv salivary enzymes amylase converts starch to sugar then pepsin converts proteins to peptones trypsin converts pep peptones to Uh, peptides and then lipase trypsin secreted by uh, where is the trypsin and lipase uh, trypsin and lipase secreted by pancreas lipase uh, is for uh, is responsible for fats converts to fatty acid and glycerol intestinal uh, juices carbohydrates uh, in glucose form then peptides in amino acid and then fats to fatty acid and glycerol osmo regulation osmo regulation is a process of uh, controlling the amount of water and ions in the body of an organism K kidney is responsible for this process so which uh, which uh, for part of body is responsible for osmo regulation that is kidney nephrons nephrons are uh, the functional unit of kidneys uh, one end of each nephrons has a hollow cap cup that is bowman's capsule okay bowman's capsule is there in the front kidney kidneys it is all about kidney then lymph covers or oh sorry lymph carries digested and absorbed food and or fat transport fruit is formed from ovary uh, spirogyra an example of fragmentation then hydra and planea can reproduce by the process of uh, regeneration hydra and yeast uh, reproduce the by budding okay hydra budding yeast hydra and yeast are budding ferns produce reproduces excess uh, sexually by formation of a spores and then uh, and analogous organs different structure but some same function uh, wings of birds and insects uh, flippers of whale and fishes so the, uh, st structure uh, structure is different but uh, used for the same pur purpose okay homologous organs same function structure but different fu function uh, artery and elephant's tusk okay then um, iron is used as catalyst in uh, hyper process uh, for manufacturing of ammonia and molybdenum is used as for uh, prompter and catalysts now i'm going to tell you something about hydrosphere hydrosphere is the name given to the mass of water that covers about 71% of the earth's surface the average depth of oceans is above 4 km about 4 km ocean floor okay it is very irregular as the surface of the continents four major units of ocean floor are continental shelf slabs sorry continental shelves Uh, continental slope continental rise and abyssal or deep sea plains so very first continental shelf 
it is the coastal plain uh, coastal part of the ocean which is not very deep and slope of the bottom is very gentle extend to a depth of depth of 100 fathoms or you can say 1.8 meter okay 1 fathom is equal to 1.8 meter in region where the mountains extended along the coast the shelves is narrower about 20% petrol and gas found here they also provide the richest fishing ground in the world marine life exists entirely here they occupy above 7% of total ocean area area now continental slope extends uh, seaward from the continental shelf the continental blocks are supposed to end at the site of uh, continental slope the boundary between shelf and slope is known as andesite line named after the andesite rock uh, depth is up to uh, 2000 fathoms they cover about 8.5% of the total ocean area area continental rise at the foot of uh, slope is found an area slightly rising due to the accumulation of the debris transported over the slope oil deposits occur here so in continental shelves you are getting the petrol and gases and whenever you are talking about oil deposits it it, it you can find out in continental rise abyssal or deep sea plain it is the deepest and most extensive part of the ocean floor and accounts for uh, about 40% of the total ocean floor Uh, part of the abyssal plain are occupied by raised ridges or submarine mountains and by very deep trenches or canyons ridges are uh, the raised areas in sea mid atlantic ridge s shaped indian ocean ridge inverted y shaped so s shaped uh, you can say mid atlantic ridge and indian ocean ridge inverted y shaped a ridge rising more than sorry 1000 meter above the ocean floor is called sea mount flat topped sea mounts are called as geots uh, maximum in pacific ocean okay some parts of the ridge or volcanic peaks reach uh, reach the surface of the oceans and form island okay like hawaii island trenches are narrow and steep sided depressions they occur where two plates of the earth's crust are moving together and one is being pushed down below the other so deepest is challenger deep a part of marina trench in the pacific ocean near philippines is more than 11 km deep oh i see submarine canyons are the deep gorges on the ocean floor and are found in a continental slope and deep sea places now salinity the proportion of dissolved salt salts to pure moisture is called salinity okay sorry pure water the average salinity in the oceans and sea is 35 35 grams of salt in 1 liter of water understood 35 grams of salt in 1 liter of water salinity in decreasing water is nacl mgcl mgso4 caso4 kso4 etc chlorine is the most abundant element in this maximum salinity is gatlas pound pond ethiopia 433 okay then most saline sea is red sea the main source of salinity is dissolution of the rock of the ocean crust which contains salt it is maximum at the tropics poles have minimum salinity it causes vertical circulation of water waves what are waves they are caused due to the friction of the winds there is no forward movement of the water in the wave and when a wave enters shallow water it breaks the maximum height of the waves in most oceans is about 12 meter but they may be as high as 15 meter seismic waves are tsunamis are the waves caused by earthquakes and volcanic eruptions in the sea bottom the tsunamis which hit the coast in the southeast china sorry southeast asia on december 26 2004 caused havoc in that region now very important topic is there coral reefs corals are the kind of uh, calcareous rocks chiefly made of the skeletons of minute sea organism called polyps uh, they are formed due to the accumulation of uh, an accumulation and compaction of skeletons of these lying secreting organism example maldives 
corals are found mainly in the tropical oceans and sea because they require high mean annual temperature ranging uh, uh, around 20 degree centigrade they cannot survive at a greater depth than uh, 60 to 77 meter below sea level muddy or very uh, saline water is injurious for their growth so the coral reefs are classified on the basis of nature shape and mode of occurrence in the very first is fringing reef coral reefs that develop along the continental margins or along the island are called fringing leaves reefs the seaward slope is steep and vertical while the landward slope is gentle sometimes there is a lagoon or shallow channel between the springing reef and the land such reefs are found near rameshwaram in gulf of mannar okay then barrier reefs they are uh, the largest most extensive highest and widest reef for, of all they are formed of the coastal platforms and parallel to them there is an excess, ex- extensive but swallow lagoon between the coastal land and the barrier reef the great barrier reef of uh, australia is the largest barrier reef of the world at all a reef of narrow growing corals of horseshoe shape and crowned with the palm tree is called an atoll it is generally formed around an island or in an elliptical form on a submarine uh, platform there is a lagoon in the middle of the coral ring you can say fiji atoll now move forward about ocean currents water currents current uh, currents circulate in clockwise direction in northern hemisphere and in anti clockwise in southern hemisphere actual transportation of water from one part of ocean to another because of difference in density salinity temperature of ocean waters rotation of earth shape of coastline and prevailing winds so it has currents of pacific ocean north equatorial region uh, north equatorial current with these are warm like curacao tusinama sorry tusinama current warm currents these are then uh, alaska or british columbia current then california current is cold one then oceo and coolie current is cold one oxstock current cold east australian current warm and peru current cold then current of uh, atlantic ocean goana current which is warm current antilles current which is warm florida current is warm current gulf stream gulf stream current warm current okay and um, norwegian current is also warm current canary current is cold current and then um, two cold currents the east greenland current and the labrador current is also there and then uh, brazil current is warm current benigula current is uh, cold current falkland current is cold current then current of indian ocean so these are not much uh, the currents in the northeast indian ocean differ entirely from the general platform of uh, circulation they change their direction from the currents in the north indian ocean different uh, differ sorry differ entirely from the general pattern of the circulation they change their direction from season to season in response to the seasonal rhythms of monsoon in winters the north equatorial current and the south equatorial current flows from east to west mozambic current which is warm current agulhas current which is also warm current major shipping canals kal canal panama canal suez suez canal okay suez canal so a kyao canal in between london and uh, baltic ports okay 98 km long links north sea to baltic sea then panama canal uh, links the atlantic ocean to pacific ocean called gateway of uh, to pacific 58 km long opened in 1914 then shoes canal uh, nicknamed the highway of india it connects the mediterranean sea to the red sea okay it allows uh, transportation by water between europe and asia without navigation around africa built uh, in uh, 1869 by the french engineer ferdinand de lesps 193 km long one of the greatest canals of the world and was nationalized by coal nasser egypt on july 26 1956 and the northern uh, terminus is port said and the southern terminus is port tofik tofik 
at the city of Suez. Suez. Uh, the canal is single lane with passing places in Bala bypass and in the great bitter lake now major seas south china sea caribbean sea mediterranean sea bering sea sea of clock major rivers largest river is amazon although uh, it is uh, 222 km shorter than nile the longest river nile is the longest river but largest one is the amazon it is considered so because it is navigable by sea, deep sea streamers and uh, has the highest or greatest flow of water. The third, third longest river is Yang Pais. Now, uh, river of the world like... Uh So, earthquake is tumors of uh, earth's surface, which may be man-made or uh, natural causes, mostly result of the plate tectonic activities. Three types of waves, P waves, S waves and L waves. Before earthquake, the amount of radon gas increased. Okay. And what is radon? Radon, it is active and inert gas. Okay. Where the earthquake starts, that point known as focus and uh, focus also known as hypocenter okay where it touches the earth's surface that called as epicenter fault line which indicates the earthquake spread in under uh, underground measured by seismograph on reactor scale it is endless okay and uh, Earthquakes are concentrated at what is currently known as plate boundaries. Seismic waves are two types, body waves and surface waves. Body waves cover P waves and S waves and surface waves cover L waves and R waves. So what are body waves, uh, P waves and S waves? I am going to explain. Very first P waves. P waves firstly denoted in seismograph. So very first in seismograph, very first devoted uh, lines are or you can say waves are p waves fastest speed and um, run in solid liquid and gas three of the medium and uh, longitudinal waves okay so then after s waves s waves are secondly denoted and known as after shocked wave okay uh, then uh, in liquid it can't be travel and also known as transverse waves then after l waves l waves you can call as love wave particles of medium moves in opposite direction that's why tracking or default done okay and makes crack so l waves makes crack and then last one is r waves which is really waves and really waves are what in this particles of medium moves in zigzag directions and it is highly dangerous okay so in you can in the uh, seismograph you can see surface jo uh, waves hoti hain these are l and r they are having more disastrous and dangerous P waves are absent in cores 103 degree to 142 degree also known as P waves shadow zone because it is solid okay core is solid so that's why P, P waves can't travel there and S waves uh, S waves are absent in 103 degree to 100 uh, uh, it's some doubt is there absent because uh, not run in liquid so that s waves hydrogen it is not clearly uh, defined but uh, you can find out and such doubt it there then ring of fire ring of fire is a zone along the edge of pacific ocean uh, that has many volcanoes and earthquakes horseshoe uh, shaped it is and 40,000 kilometer long belt is called as ring ring of fire total one uh, so, sorry total of 40 452 volcanoes starts from south america to new zealand covers bering strait of and japan also then how it forms because of plate tectonics uh, tectonics temperature and pressure increased and then the rock melts and moves through the surface and crust and releases gas and magmas so volcanic eruptions occurs volcanic uh, volcanoes uh, materials has uh, 
pyroclastic flow okay pyroclastic flow uh, it uh, is fluid is fluidized mixture of solid to semi solid fragment and it also uh, so somehow uh, what is pyroclastic flow it is ash load okay and what is ash load ash load is like collapse roofs because of this collapse roofs bring down power lines and kills plants contaminates water then supplies respiratory hazard for human and animal and you can call it uh, what is uh, pyroclastic uh, flow in you can say mixture of hot gas ashes and other volcanic rocks traveling very quickly down the slopes of volcanoes there are more dangerous or hazards posed by volcanoes for example eruption of vesuvius in 79 ad destroyed the city of pompeii okay and then um, one more one or two more examples like because of lava flow hamia hami uh, an island of uh, an uh, uh, which belongs to an all island of iceland destroyed one third of the town uh, one third of the town destroyed because of this and all these gases which are come from the you can call as noxious gases now here this is somehow completed now i'm going to tell you something about nuclear physics it is done with the atom and discovered by john dalton different atoms of same element have equal masses sub subatomic uh, particles are electron proton and neutron so who discovered these three electrons by jj thomson and protons by e goldsmith and uh, neutron by chadwick okay 19 32 then electron is discovered by jj thomson in 1897 he performed a cathode ray experiment it has a change of sorry it had the charge of minus uh, 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 c and mass is equal to you can say 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg and it is negatively charged okay and uh, um, told by r milkenen Uh, done oil drop experiments because of this they got the idea that it is negatively charged mm. and then proton discovered by e goldston in 1886 he performed a canal rays experiment and then after named positive charge iron as uh, helium or hydrogen ion hydrogen plus ion and then um, a proton named by uh, m's rather ford in 1989 1917 because of this he called uh, he sorry he got a nobel prize for nucleus okay he found out a nucleus there and then uh, alpha particle uh, practical was there in the uh, in uh, uh, gold foil okay so it has charge of 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 c Okay, so electron has minus one point six into ten to the power minus eighteen. Sorry, in nineteen c, and a proton has one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen c positively. Okay, it has mass of one point six nine, one point six seven two six into ten to the power minus twenty seven kg. God, it's too tough to run, learn these things. Neutron. Neutron is discovered by Chadwick in nineteen thirty two. It has no charge. It has mass of one point six. Seven four nine into ten to the power minus twenty seven kg. Okay, atomic symbol or uh, atomic symbol you can say E P N. So electron is somehow nucleons and proton and neutron presents in nucleus. Okay, so electron is nucleons and proton and neutron present in nucleus. Then uh, if I if one element is there, so or the at uh, if one element is there like C six fourteen, I say करके तो whatever is there like x की power a लिखा है and then and at the bottom of this z is written. So a is the number of nucleons. It means the number of proton plus neutron and z is atomic number it means number of proton in nucleus okay and chemical symbol of something okay so net charge of atom atom is zero p is equal to electron uh, proton is equal to, agar prot if 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 p is equal to electron then net charge on atom is zero okay if proton and neutron are uh, sorry proton and electron both are equal then net charge on uh, net charge on the atom of that uh, element is zero then mass defect mass defect uh, takes place when some of the mass is lost during the nuclear generation okay and one equation is there delta m is equal to zmp 
plus minus z m n minus m m is the mass of nucleus then mass deficit defect sorry mass defect mass defect takes place when some of the mass is lost and mass energy relation explained by special theory of relativity uh, given by albert einstein in 1907 e is equal to mc square binding energy is the energy required to separate the particle from a system of particles uh, radioactivity it is the ability of the radioactive atom to emit radiations okay discovered by henry becquerel in 19 in sorry in 1895 then term radioactivity was uh, given by marie curie and pierre curie and then they discovered radiations are emitted by unstable atoms unit of radioactivity uh, are becquerel and curie and then three types of uh, radiations alpha radiation beta radiation and gamma radiation alpha radiation discovered by rutherford in 1899 then beta is also discovered by rutherford okay and gamma is discovered by paul willand in 1900 so be careful alpha and beta both are discovered by rutherford but gamma is discovered by paul willand in 1900 uh, uh, alpha is positively charged particles beta consists of um, alpha stream of electrons and then gamma doesn't have any mass and high energy photons were present there in gamma ओके सो पेनिट्रेशन पावर अगर कहीं जाए तो व्हाट इज व्हिच व्हिच वन इज हैविंग गामा इज हैविंग मोर पेनिट्रेशन पावर देन बीटा एंड बीटा इज हैविंग मोर पेनिट्रेशन पावर देन अल्फा एंड व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आयज आयोड आयोनाइज एनर्जी सो अल्फा इज हैविंग मोर एनर्जी देन बीटा एंड बीटा इज हैविंग मोर एनर्जी देन गामा सो इफ एन आयोड आयोनाइज एनर्जी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट सो अल्फा इज मोर and when we talking about penetration power so gamma is having more penetration power in um, comparison to these two mm-hmm. useful radioactive isotopes that is important iodine 132 to uh, is used to regulate functioning of thyroid gland sodium 24 to defect blood clots and circulation then arsenic 74 to detect cancer cells in the body and cobalt 60 to kill the cancer and tumor tumor cells cobalt cysty is used to uh, treat the cancer and tumor cells and phosphorus 32 used in chemotherapy treatment phosphorus 32 is used to chemotherapy treatment nuclear reactions nuclear fusion and nuclear fission uh, takes place in stars and hydrogen bombs okay invented by edward teller in 1952 hydrogen bomb is invented by edward teller in 1952 two light atoms is equal to one heavy item atom so okay so it is somehow fusion when we fuse uh, hydrogen atoms and need high temperature it need high temperature for fusion and when we talking about nuclear fission one heavy atom is uh, going to be uh, divided in two light atoms okay and then after division is takes place and then it is uh, two types controlled and uncontrolled controlled in nuclear reactor in electricity and engine Uh, invented by enrico fermi in 1942 and uncontrolled uh, if we uh, start uh, any um, nuclear nuclear uh, if we start uh, it is uncontrolled controlled so what is the example of atom bomb by robert of nesmer in 1945 fuel what is used as fuel like uranium plutonium and thorium monoxide is form or uh, found in kerala beaches monoxide thorium monoxide in form and central rods are cadmium man boron and edm and then moderator you can use as graphite and heavy water dto d2o when a neutron is bombarded with a heavy aluminum atom it breaks into which nuclei it breaks into barium and krypton when neutron is bombarded with heavy uranium atom atom so when uh, when in, in a heavy uh, uranium atom neutron is bombarded then what what uh, we can get out of it barium and krypton and photovoltaic uh, energy is the conversion of sunlight into electricity okay this much is all about um
ओके आई थिंक इट्स ओके थैंक यू